sucks to have all that uh, work like just piled onto you. Uh, I know how you feel. Um, I mean, that's happened to me a countless number of times at university. There have, there have been times where I, I even amazed myself where I've been able to pull through. But uh, if, if anything, if there is anything you can help me with, don't, just don't be afraid to ask. But yeah, I don't really know what else I can do for that. But yeah. The other day, um, went it down to Brisbane to take part in something called a Twitter movie. Um, it was a it was a thing that was started in London apparently, and he wanted a and the guy who started it all wanted a bunch of people from all over the world to do this specialized Twitter thing. I wasn't exactly sure of the details. I thought, yeah, I could I could do that. I've got film experience. It could probably look good. So um, I go down there and. Turns out the only person who has any sort of film experience at the whole thing, there was about, uh, I mean, was a, there was about six of us or seven of us there, and the only person who had any experience was me. There was other, one other person who had, um, who did photography, and I was able to say him as like my DOP. I, I ended up being director and ended up calling the shots for most of the things because I was the only one who had experience. But um, that's not the only um, thing from we had there was no script, um, no plan, um, and we just had a basic outline of what we needed to do, which was um, pretty much get a couple of people twittering uh, as if they were shocked to see something, and that wasn't really that much to go on. Yeah, so yeah, the footage actually came out pr pretty well. I haven't seen the um, the footage itself. We shot it at the best possible resolution I could get. It was funny because. Um, with the camera that we were using, it was one of the it was a handy cam which had a 1080p resolution, and I was using some of the manual features that the guy who owned the camera didn't even realize he had, and didn't actually realize what what amazing shots he could get out of it by using the manual settings. So yeah, he was actually kind of pretty shocked with it, but I, it actually went pretty well. It flowed rather smoothly, which is um, probably more than I can say for some of my other projects, my other film projects I've been through. Uh, most of the times they usually go on for, I don't know, three times as long as they usually go to. But this one actually can't turn out pretty well. I'm not sure if I should be worried about that or okay with that. But that's, it's not actually, we're not actually the major ones filming them. They just want to film extra stuff. Um, all the footage is going to be compressed into a smaller size. And then a DVD of the, of the uncompressed footage is later going to be sent off to London. And if the Twitter movie ends up getting finished, um, I don't know what's going to happen to it. Yeah. So that's my random, random rambling. I've also been working on this um, the, this video for a, for, a for a client of doing this uh, dance um, DVD. Uh, it's going along pretty well so far. I've actually just been shooting just minor stuff on my little flip cam here. Uh, I'm going to get a much more bigger camera for, for the actual performance, but she just wanted me to get some behind the scenes stuff, which I'm doing right now. Oh, by the way, I want to ask you, um, I recently heard a story about how all marriage got accidentally banned in Texas. And when I heard it, I was like, whoa, how did that happen? And I heard the story, and apparently it was something to do with gay marriage and how in putting the legislation, they accidentally banned all marriage. I want to know what's what's been what's has it been like down in Texas? Like, have people actually been talking about it much? Um, what's been the overall vibe from it? Have people even been talking about it at all? Um, I thought it'd be pretty interesting because I know you, you live there. That, that was actually one of those things that I thought about when I heard the story. It's like, oh, what's what's? I wonder how else treating that and how everyone else around this. But yeah, I'll see you later, Al.